Hey guys, so I finally figured out how to remove the airflow control on the Aspire. As you can see, that's here. Just so you can. That is the Nautilus, not the Atlantis. So, you start with. Most people have one of these in their house. Say, uh, let's see if I can get a better angle. Okay, just one of those, or a knife that's just as sharp and kind of small. Small is best, it's easier to handle. Real thin edge, essentially. And what you're gonna do, and I haven't gotten it all the way off just so that you guys could see it happen. Let's get that to focus. Okay, so what I did was, and let's see if I can get an area that's still tight. On there like so. Let's see, best angle. Get it right there, like so. And then all I did, because I can't seem to find my hammer. Everyone knows this is the second best thing to a hammer. At least I hope you do. Now that space that was super press fit is not nearly as much. Now I made a makeshift uh, crank, if you will, and it seems to work the best. Um, some people have vices and things like that. You can also do this with a vice. It's much easier if you have a vice. If you don't have a vice though, I'm doing this for those of you that don't. So I took just a screwdriver, I wrapped my coils around and I attached it to another one of these deals. And I take this I set it on here, like so. Pop it in the space that's there. Let's see if I can get this on camera well, just so everyone can see. And then just twist a little bit. And twist again. Twist again. You can see it's starting to come off a little more than it was. Just again. Just again. I think I can just pull it off now. There it is. So that's the Aspire Nautilus. There's some juice in there. Gross. Um, yep, pretty simple. And then to remove the AFC ring, you're going to want to twist it and it should, it'll just, once you start twisting it, it'll pop off. Now one thing you want to be careful on, just in case you don't like doing it, see that little pin there? That's what allows it to click at each time and stay in place perfectly. And there's a couple O-rings. You want to keep this piece in case you, you want it. It's, a, it's actually a spring. Let's see if I can get a close up of that. It's a spring with a little pin on it. That's all it is. And then put it back together. Obviously, very simple. Okay, so to put it back on the easiest way, I had some trouble with it. Uh, it's all flush now. The, be the easiest way is you take one of these, put it on like so. And if you have another one of these or you have something that's just kind of rubbery and easy to hold on to, just take it and you just press down really hard. Um, get it all even like if you if you need to and then just press down extremely hard because it's a flat surface, it's not gonna bend it or warp it or anything like that. And uh, you're, uh, you're good. So I got it all back together and uh, yeah. It's flush, got it on my Segeli. Um, still not the Atlantis, but I'd say it's comparable to, this is the second smallest hole, I'd say it's comparable to that. Um, obviously it's not gonna blow clouds, it doesn't feed as well. I have 50-50 juice in here right now, just to give you an idea of. I mean, it's not bad by any means. Um, 
but it's not a cloud chasing type of tank. You all know that this is just an easier draw than it was um, for those of you that haven't tried it. For those of you who have, you already know what it is. Um, but if you're trying to get an Atlantis experience with the Nautilus, you're not going to get all the way there. You'll definitely get close, but not cloud. It's not going to happen. Um, so if you like the video, just give me a thumbs up or comment if you want anything else. I'm pretty good at figuring stuff out. So, um, yeah, see you in the next one.